After experimenting with uh, rust removal by electrolysis yesterday with this small tank, I upgraded today to this bigger tank which takes five times more water. Well, five times more, but I can still fill it up with one bucket. Really, I'm not lying. I used just one bucket, but five times. I improved also the sacrificial pieces of metal. These ones have a lot more surface. And today I decided to experiment with this uh, rusty skid plate, which is part of our rusty frame. Uh, it was too big for this tank, but even better because I could uh, see after that results from before and after the electrolysis. We don't even need this bracket right now, we just decided to keep it just in case if we need to replace in any time. And I also dipped the second uh, spring from the experiment yesterday to see what was going to happen in this uh, bigger bat. Today I started a little bit later because I knew I didn't want to waste too much time with uh, this. I wanted to try for three or four hours. And uh, these patterns are amazing. They say that the water the moving water and the fire are the two things that a person can sit and watch for hours without getting bored and I 100% agree with that, it's, it's amazing. Well, I didn't sit and watch it all day and that's the good part of this process, you can uh, do your own thing while everything happens by itself. So. 3.30, yeah, so that's 4 hours. So the spring looked uh, very well. Of course it needs to be washed now and scraped off because the rust turn turns into something like uh, paste that you have to scrape from the metal. But it comes out very easy. On a flat surface I can use just the wire brush and it comes off. Jake was impressed. You can see here with the wire brush it comes off like as if, it if, if it's mud and you just get it wet and wash it off the metal. So I went and washed it on the sink. And then when I dried it you can see here the difference between the part that was underwater and the part that was above the water. It's almost bare metal. At the bottom here though, there's an um, undercoat or some kind of paint that uh, of course this needs to be removed manually. But where there was rust, now there's nothing. It's ready to be primed and paint. It's really impressive. I wasn't very happy with the springs though, the one from yesterday's experiment and the one from today's. So I decided to dip them again into the same bat. And just let them sit overnight and we'll see what's gonna happen tomorrow morning. Well, that's it. So for those who are telling me that this is a very slow process, yes, I agree, it's a very slow process, but do I need to be there all the time? No, I can do my own thing in the meantime, so if I can do my body work or my engine rebuilding the whole day and in the meantime I get some parts de-rusted, that's a bonus, isn't it?